Hi, this is Military Model Paul with an update on the HMS Speedy, the one, six, one, one in 64 scale um, uh, brig sloop. And uh, uh, was, was the commander that I liked the most was, was uh, Thomas Cochrane. And this is how far I've got. I did spend yesterday on it a little bit yesterday, quite a bit actually yesterday, because uh, I decided to do, do a Friday and a Saturday because uh, I was at a position where I could do some sanding and I've done a hell of a lot of sanding I've been using some of these blocks and they come in 60, that's the, um, the courses and it goes 80, uh, 100, 120, 180 and uh, 220 that, that's what it does on those, those um, six blocks and I've also got sanding stick where I've been used again, a flory one actually but this one the course one to get the actual shape and go through and testing it to make sure I've got the everything coming all right to go around nice and smooth and that's what I've done and as you can see I've got the, uh, the actual rear area that the, 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 the um, um, stern chasers as they would put the, when they swing the gums around and actually put them out through the back and so the stern chasing holes are there so okay, that's all been done and the actual bell is actually in glued in place because in this this particular kit actually tells you to do that so and there is a reason for it because when you've got when you've got to put this uh, plate here around there which I'd, I'd already soaked once to see if it would go and it started to conform but i wanted to do all the sanding to get these all all sanded so ready for timbers even around down here you can see where i've done it all the way around oh, that, yeah that's it all the way down there smooth and it's um it's more or less there and obviously you might have to tweak it when you uh, as you go along but i think i've got them all perfect they all come in the tim this i uh, thought this this one here which i've tested it hasn't been uh, uh, steamed into shape yet was i'm going to use um jason's model skit stuff uh method um and i did as he mentioned i've got two two of this i'll get another one later on or another two uh really good works out really nice and uh, does dry quick but it does say on the on, on the bottle eight to 24 hours to, to, to cure per, for, fully so i've allowed for that as well and yeah so i'm really getting on well, well, well with it and i would show you the actual <laughs> the actual um the, i've got a big a big uh, long one i can actually put the, all these in if i wanted to moist them but i'm going to steam those under a kettle uh, I have looked into a steamer as well just to see if it's worth doing but uh, I think a kettle will do because you can do two two planks four planks a day uh, when you do it um, and I'm, what I'm going to be doing is um, I know I think uh, Jason went all the way down one side then went the other side and down the other side I'm going to do one on one side one on the other side and work my way down so basically I'll just do it evenly I, I think someone mentioned st uh, stresses when it dries of course when it's shrinking because mine won't be shrinking so much because they'll be actually um, steamed so the timbers as they go down do do, do certain things so anyway so the, the bit I'll be doing next is um, I'll have a look we'll be doing this bit putting this on on the side all the way around and I've got loads of these and um, counting them I've got 40 of them so I've got more than enough to do the job to hold it in place and put one on the front to actually hold them because they, they, the, the actual bit goes into this slit area so yeah so as you can see it goes into the oops into the slit area just inside there one either side and you actually have another outer timber like it and another inner once you remove these these uh, bulkhead pieces the top bits because you don't glue onto them because if you glue onto them you'll never get them in you never get to get the, you have a lot of work afterwards so yeah so i'm really really happy with this so far and uh, so just later this afternoon i'm going to be doing that once it's had an hour in soak i'll be doing that and um, going along the side and uh, making them dry so it'll be a dry fit uh, and once it's dry it should hold its shape which will make it easier then to finally go in with the glue and i think uh, jason did that as well uh, on the on the um what's it called firefly fly a fly catcher fly catcher or something like that anyone anyway, ship his build in the moment sorry jason maybe i can't remember the title of it um this will be my next ship uh, in regards to a wooden ship because I'm going to be doing this now wooden ship as well as the other things as I go through from now on and this will be the the other, next one and there you can see 
it's a frigate as you can see but same Van Gogh model models really good and this is version 2 because they got uh, they done updated it from the version 1 this one was uh, the up an update to know really nice looking kits and uh, it wasn't too bad going together um, and it is a learning curve but I've finally got I think I've got that perfect as it should, should do look in the drawings and it tells you to put the bell spring in place the actual bell in fact because there is an outer one this side and another side once you've got the planking on you put on both sides and that, that basically covers up the joint but I'm going to try and get a nice joint all the way around there now it's all smooth and really nice so that's okay right that the end of this uh, little update uh, but uh, quite pleased as if I can bring around a little bit my total work, the one fashion. there you go I think you can see where I've uh, done all the chamfering all the way around and there you go so I don't know if I can get this one. Yeah, there you go. But anyway, really pleased how it's gone so far. There was a lot of sanding involved. Oh, it must have been about two hours, three hours of sanding doing that. But but really pleased how it came. So anyway, I'm going to not waffle on anymore. And uh, there, me else now some maybe back on it again tomorrow. And there will be an update possibly done at the end of the day on Sunday for the uh, Nelson, showing you the actual centre of uh, bits of all it's uh, uh, rigging on. I've done a f quite a few while, more what was, and it I keep breaking bits every now and then. But I've managed to start start getting control of myself, and I'm not doing it. So I've got what's it one a three three to come down to the deck at the rear on the rear mast, right down to the deck. Uh, no, six, sorry, six uh, six in the rear, six on the front, and something that goes down the front. Now, I'm not sure I saw that on, a, on, on the photograph, so I may not put that on, just in case it's not there. So I'd rather have it not there and I can put it on later than anything else. And then, that would be going on top of the hole. Uh, once I've, uh, yeah, on top of the hole, so that I can be ready to start putting things on it. And then I might just keep it on the desk until it's finished because I don't want to keep going back between to, to this one for that particular case. So, t so today and t today uh, I should be t trying to get this bit job done on this one and finished. So anyway, that's waffle too much. I'll catch you on the next one. Happy modelling, everyone. Catch you later.